Um. Why is the sky red? What did I do? What did I do? Um. I think. Who? What the hell? What are these obelisks? That's a triangle. They've made a triangle in it. No. Oh sh! <laughs> oh. Well, are you supposed to be out of the booth. I'm getting back in the booth. I'm worried. That's if that's. I don't know what else to say at this point. When I heard that Netflix was adapting, uh, doing a live action adaptation of Avatar: The Last Airbender. I was worried. Several reasons, by the way. Number one, the last time they tried this, <clears throat> we got the last Airbender movie with that was uh, put out by M. Night Shyamalan, and it was hands down like one of the worst adaptations I've ever seen. N no fault of the kids. I mean, no ringer, Nicola Peltz. Uh, Actually, Jackson Rathbone, because Sokka's supposed to be funny, damn it. And instead, they turned him into a brooding jackass. But, yeah. The whole deal with it is just... Like, there's that. Then when I heard that Netflix was remaking Avatar The Last Airbender, and they brought in Michael Dante DiMartino or, and uh, Brian Konetsko, the creators of of Avatar The Last Airbender, I was excited. And then I heard that Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konetsko left because of the, uh, because of creative differences. Oh boy. Needless to say, I was, my, my anticipation for this dipped quite a bit. So here we sit. My anticipation for this is non-existent. I I don't really have much else to say except for it's Netflix. Netflix Unless everybody Netflix. starts going, oh my god, they made this live-action Avatar better than the original Avatar. I'm not watching it. I don't I really have any interest. reacting to this trailer. Well, because I want to see just how badly they're going to butcher this and just give myself more credence to not watch this. Okay. It's really the only thing I can really think. Besides just... You know, people asked us to watch it. They requested it, and I... Well, here's my reaction. It's a Netflix live-action adaptation. What the fuck do you think's gonna when, happen? When has that ever gone right? That, that's all I'm gonna ask. When has that gone right? Death Note didn't go right. Uh, freaking... Did, I don't know if Netflix produced it, but did the Full Metal Alchemist live action adaptation go right? No. How about Resident Evil? No. How about uh, what is it? Damn it. Um, how about The Witcher? For a little bit, and then the... right much for that, no? Yeah, and then the head writer of the show basically Even just... Even when they have something go right, they have to shoot themselves in the foot rather than let it keep going right. Oh, exactly. Because the writer of the show, the showrunner of the show doesn't want to be proven wrong so she's going to show her version of how the witcher should be and like everyone else is just just stupid and you know the original books are dated and this and that and blah 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 like are you are you listening to yourself and they say that fans of things are entitled yeah that is like the textbook definition of entitlement the way that ladies acted yes and it's literally mm. hypocritical for for her to call us entitled, that's rich because her entitlement to change things. Uh huh. Her entitlement is astronomical. Yes, and her entitlement to just change what she thinks needs to be changed. I, to, I can understand like and changing basically things. give someone the middle finger because they have a penis and she doesn't agree with them. Oh, and not only whenever they're actually fucking right. Yeah. So sh so shit can him and then find someone else. We'll just be a bootlicker. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they did when they got Liam Hemsworth because that dude is desperate to stay relevant in Hollywood. And if he's gotta if he's gotta like play bootlicker to some some to some person who doesn't understand the lore of the Witcher, then so be it. Good luck playing Geralt. Hope that you uh like Enjoy being on the steroid cycle to get yourself as big as Henry Cavill, you know, like your brother did. 
which is why he had to retire from acting for a little while in order to recover from being on the steroid cycle. I just kind of feel bad for the dude because nobody's going to watch it. Like, no. he literally, like, took a failing role. Yes. Like, in a failing show. There's nothing he can do to save that show. Yes. Like, so it, it's, it's, just, it's almost like Netflix can't help It's basically like, hey, who wants people. to fail? And he's like, I will. It, it's like Netflix can't help themselves. They just have to belligerently fail and prove a point. What point is there to be proven? Other than the fact that, that y'all don't know what the hell you're doing. Anyway, this is the la Avatar The Last Airbender. Water, Earth, Fire, Air. Uh, Netflix first look. Ugh, I hope I live through this. This is all it is. Really? This is just a teaser. Really? <laughs> there was nothing here to react to, guys. Uh, uh, Why did you on. request this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, first look at the... Okay, so... That's Aang. Looks alright. Oh. There's Zuko. Huh. At least I guess there was some more seconds of the trailer if you want to see if there was anything else there. I guess, maybe. Nope. No, it's literally just a long ass Netflix logo. <laughs> Typical. I I just wow. Uh, they can nail the look all they want. It's just that's only a small percentage of getting it right. Anyway. Ah, there's Sokka. There's yeah. Katara. Ah, Danny Pudi will be the me uh, mechanist. Interesting. Boomy. Okay. Hmm. All right. Ah, yes, the cabbages merchant. My cabbages. Okay, so cast looks all right, but I'm not, but yeah, I, I'm not holding my breath on this being any good. I'm, I'm not holding my breath. I'm not going to really say anything else except for, I <sighs> hope Netflix, actually, no, there's no point in me even saying that. Netflix is never going to learn their lesson. Netflix is just going to keep doing the same thing they always do. They're just going to keep, just Stubbing their toe, blaming, and just blaming everybody else. That's all they're going to do. I mean, when you fire the original... When, when the original people live, or, you know, leave, the original people leave this, it's just... Yeah, I, I don't... And mm. the original creators didn't leave this because it was going to be good, guys. Don't kid yourselves. Yeah. We're initially announced they executive producers and showrunners. Show. Then they departed the series due to creative differences. It was revealed after DiMartino published an open letter on the website. Uh, negative and unsupporting environment. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, creative differences is just a polite way of saying Netflix were being dickheads and wanted to do what they wanted to do and the show writers wanted to be true to the original. So. All right. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else to say except for I. Mm, there's nothing else to say, y'all. 
This is this is not gonna. I I don't I don't have any faith in this. No. Unless this blows up and becomes something amazing, I have zero faith in this. Zero. You're wrong. So, all right. Anyway, the writers leaving are proof enough to me. <laughs> yeah, because it's their work. It's their work and their. Mm. All right. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna head out, everybody. We're gonna move on. Until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. See you then. Peace. Jesus. <laughs>